What's going on everybody? It's Pelfrey again and uh, picked up a Neptune Apex auto feeding system with the building and obsession um, feeding ring. Um, <clears throat> I got the feeding ring because you know I didn't want the uh, auto feeder to drop pellets into the tank and with my tank being so small um, the tank or the excuse me the pellets would have gone straight down into the sump and you know we want to prevent that we want to feed the fish we don't want that food to go uneaten so I went ahead and picked up the uh, auto feeding system during the uh, last bulk reef supply um, group buy and inside of the, the uh, box you can see we got the auto feeder we got the bracket we have the aquabus cable and they even send you some um, uh, sample Neptune um, food so that's pretty cool um, I knew right off the bat that I wanted to mount this thing on the back of the tank. And unfortunately, with the way that the Aquabus cable is, uh, I was unable to get it mounted to the back of the tank. I had to mount it to the side of the tank. And, uh, you know, I've, I've grown used to it now. I've been using the auto feeding system for about uh, a few weeks now. And uh, it's worked out quite well for me. Uh, no, really no complaints at this point. And it does come with a 15 foot Aquabus cable. Um, so to keep that in mind. So if you need to get a, a shorter one or a longer one, you can order that. Now to mount the feeding ring to the auto feeder, you have to drill holes in the bracket. And this is as simple as putting the auto feeder on the tank, um, kind of getting a, a pretty good idea where you, how far you want the feeding ring into the water. And I just marked it with a pencil. There's nothing really scientific here. It was just eyeball it and, and drill it. So if you Google building an obsession, you can get this feeding ring. It's like $14.99 plus tax. But here we are mounted to the tank. Um, the auto feeder is loud whenever it runs. And then I only have it set to run twice a day. So, um, you know, during the week, I'm not here during that time frame. Um, on the weekends, I am. But I can get over this uh, noise that you hear here. And the primary reason that I picked up this auto feeding system is we're going to be going on vacation. And... I wanted to have the auto feeder set up and running for a, a month or two before we went on vacation just to make sure that I ironed out all the kinks. And uh, so far, so good. I'm actually gonna leave it on the tank um, until I decide that I'm done with it and I'm gonna still keep it and use it for when we go on vacation. Um, I really like this piece of equipment. Once again, it does have the uh, audible clicking noise that you can hear here, but I can get over it. And when we go on vacation, I will no longer have to worry about my fish getting fed. And also, honestly, I'd like to try to keep some antheas at one point, and uh, they will uh, require a, a healthy diet. So this will help out uh, in that avenue as well. And it is worth mentioning that I did lower the volume on the video. Um, it's, it's about three quarters of the way turned down just for the sake of the video of my voiceover. So when you plug in the auto feeding system to your Apex, you'll have to drag the tile down, but programming this thing is seamless. And if you look at the bulk reef supply videos, it is very, very helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you're using this auto feeder, leave it in the comment section below. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.